Yo, what is up guys and welcome to another Wild Rift video and have I found a new broken Akshan rune? No. Kraken Slayer sucks on Akshan and you should never ever go for it. I tested it out in today's video and like it does okay but it's just nothing compared to Conqueror. So now about the build. I yet again have a new Akshan build for you guys. I've showed you guys like a million different Akshan builds. Yeah, like you, you, you do you guys remember this video with this crazy build? Um, um, just look up Hell's Death for Akshan and this is like my most recent Akshan video. Crazy video, you should definitely check it out. But what we're looking at right now is the hard carry Akshan. That Akshan build that I showed you earlier, this is a very situational build. This is like some sort of a tank Akshan build and basically you waste time from the enemy and you keep fighting and fighting and fighting. This build, however, is meant to one-shot and destroy the enemy. So, let me quickly tell you why Kraken Slayer doesn't work on Akshan. By the way, there's timestamps in the description if you just want to skip to the gameplay. The reason that Kraken Slayer doesn't work is... Um, so, well, firstly, the reason that it does work, it's decent because Akshan has a double basic attack, right? Like, where you where you hit, a, hit, hit the enemy twice one after the other. Kraken Slayer deals full damage when you do that. So even though you hit the second attack, which deals a little bit less damage than the first attack, you're still going to be dealing the full true damage of the Kraken Slayer. The reason that it sucks, however, is because your third ability, which does apply on hit effects, doesn't actually apply the Kraken Slayer effect. So you can only apply Kraken Slayer with your basic attacks. It's not an on hit effect. It's just applied with basic attacks. So that makes me wonder if Ezreal's first ability works with Kraken Slayer, right? Because it's, or, or Fiora's first ability. Because it doesn't work with Akshan's third ability, which normally applies on hit effects. So it's just not a good rune on Akshan. Don't go for it. Stick with the Conqueror. Conqueror is just much, much better. Um, so for the build, when you go for this one-shot Akshan build, you go for Stormraiser, you go for Infinity Edge, you go for Bloodthirster, and then you either go for a Mortal Reminder or a Surya's Grudge. As you can see, there's very little attack speed right here. And the reason is because you don't need it. You want to have as much damage as possible because then your double attack is going to do a load of damage and your third ability and your ultimate. Like, and then for your fifth item, by the way, Guardian Angel. You're going to have so much attack damage with this build. Like, I mean, look at how much AD all these items give you. 40 AD, 55, 50, 45, and 40 AD. That's a huge amount of AD. And Akshan skills pretty well with AD as well. You will just become a monster in the late game. For the boots, you go for Glutinous Griefs. You want to be healing up because you do so much damage. Glutinous Griefs are super worth it for the healing. And then for your enchantments, I, I love Stasis Enchant or the Protobot Enchant. So for the runes, not Kraken Slayer and not a Lethal Tempo. Lethal Tempo is just not worth it on, on Akshan. I mean, you can go for it if you want to focus fully on your basic attacks, but Akshan is just not built around the basic attacks. So Conqueror is much better because you're going to be stacking it up so easily with Akshan. For your second ability, uh, second rune, you go for Hunter Vampirism. As I said, Akshan loves Vampirism and he skills into the late game, so Hunter Vampirism is the perfect rune for him. For your third rune, you go for Nullifying Orb. Pretty much always. This is such a good new rune, especially on Akshan, and especially if you're up against Assassins. Like, when you get under the 35% uh, health th threshold, you're gonna be getting a shield, which is huge. 80 plus 50 percent of your bonus ad and in like the 80 is already a lot in the early game and in the late game you're gonna have like 300 ad so 50 percent is like 150 so the shield is gonna be huge it's really really big well not huge but it's gonna block some damage it's it's good it's good and for your fourth round you go for sweet tooth because sweet tooth is broken you could potentially go for demolish if you want to demolish turrets but besides i would just recommend you to go for sweet tooth it's really really good don't go for hunter um don't go for hunter genius because you already reset your third ability when you get a kill so it's just not worth to go for hunter genius for your spells you go for flash and barrier you can also get an exhaust if you want an exhaust you know if you're up against uh, katarina or something and you can get an ignite i don't recommend ignite because i just prefer barrier it, it makes you so tanky on action so enough about the build uh, let's now get into the gameplay so i am good at akshan like akshan is one of those champions that i'm really really good at um 
that's why I love showing you guys Akshan. Also, he really looks like me, so that makes it even more fun. And in this video, or in this game in particular, you'll see a very, very aggressive Akshan. Like, I was limit testing. And if you don't know what limit testing means, is I was trying to find the limits that I can go for on Akshan. And you'll see this in the late game, because I don't want to spoil, I don't want to spoil, but you'll see, you'll see what I mean, okay? So I'm, I'm up against a Diana, which is one of the easiest matchups for Akshan. Akshan really punishes those melee champions that like to engage on you in lane. Like, he's really good against the Diana, the Katarinas, the Aurelias. The reason is because your basic attack gives you movement speed. Look, boom, boom. Every basic attack, the first attack only, gives me a lot of movement speed. My first ability gives me movement speed, which allows me to kite the Diana super easily. And if I want to do max damage, you know, if I don't want to be utilizing the movement speed, I do the double attack. And now with the Kraken Slayer in this particular game, I really tried to do three attacks on the enemy. Yet again, this is not worth it. I don't recommend you to get this. It's just like, look, look at this. And boom, the Kraken Slayer deals... 35 damage woohoo guys 35 damage let's go that's a load of damage no it's not and it sucks the only good thing about the kraken slayer is it doesn't have a cooldown but it, the damage is just nothing the damage is just so low they need to amp up the damage oh look at that ah one more attack ah i would have that would have hurt him a lot oh there's a listen what can akshan do you can just dash away such a good anti-ganking champion too by the way That's the classic flash combo with Akshan right there, guys. That is the that is a classic. And if you play Akshan without knowing how to do that combo, then what are you doing? The way that you do that combo, and if you if you have a rough time with it, you can go into practice mode to practice it. Because I've gotten so many free kills with this combo. The way that you do it, you throw your first ability, and before Akshan actually throws it, so you click on it and flash instantly. So before he throws it, you already flash, and then instantly throw the first ability while you're flashed to the opponent what's gonna happen is you're gonna get a free hit as long as you aim your flash uh, properly you're gonna hit the enemy for free and you can catch enemies off guard like i did right there diana would never think that i could kill her from such a range because if i just flashed to her and then threw my first ability she would have flashed away as well and dodged it but because i used my first ability and then flashed i was able to hit her and she didn't even know what was coming for her so the way that I like to upgrade Akshar is when I get level 4, I put another point in my first ability. And then after that, I put all of my points in the third ability. In this game, I actually misclicked another upgrade on my first ability. But basically, level 4, you put a point, you put an extra point on your first ability. Then you upgrade your third ability as much as you can. Because the third ability is such a good ability to upgrade. It deals so much damage in the mid game. So, and also in the late game, by the way, it's just always worth to upgrade your third ability over your first ability. I just dodged her ultimate, by the way, with my hook shot. <laughs> it's just like Akshan can do these kinds of things. You just have to have really fast hands. I would definitely say Akshan is a pretty hard champion to play. Actually, even a really hard champion to play. It's like you really need to have quick hands. You really need to know the combos. You really need to like, you know, you need to play him to his powers because he has so many things. As I said, he has the movement speed, which you can utilize to cut the enemy. He has the big damage from the double attack, which you, which will make you stand still in place, by the way. So you're risking, right? If you're up against a Lux, for example, and you do the double attack against the Lux, she has a lot of time to hit you with a root. These are the things that you have to keep in mind of. The third ability, of course, this one, you have to be able to hit properly into walls. And you can dodge out enemy engages. You can dodge out ganks. You can engage. And the beauty of this ability is when you get a killer on assist, it fully resets the cooldown. So you can play super aggressive, go in like one versus five, kill an enemy and go right back out. And yet again, you'll see me do this in the late game. I don't want to spoil it fully, but you'll see. By the way, about the giveaway yet again, for the winners from the previous month, I actually gave away um, um, coaching sessions. I told them like, hey guys, I'm sorry, I, I, don't, I don't know how to give away skins right now. I'll just give you guys coaching sessions and they accept it. For this month, I don't know what I'm going to do yet again. Just put a comment if you want to enter whatever I'm doing, but I'm not promising anything. I don't want to make false promises, you know. I don't know. I don't know. 
By the way, look at this. Akshan is decently fast at pushing turrets too. That's because of his double attack. And that's also why I was talking about the Demolish rune. Because Demolish is pretty decent. I'm not sure what the Diana is trying to do. But she's never going to win a trade against me. Oh, I tried it again, but I filled the combo. Ah, yeah, yeah. This is what I mean. This is what I mean. This is why I'm telling you guys to practice combos. Oh, no. I'm dead. Yeah, I'm just dead. This is why I'm telling you guys to practice combos. If I had properly practiced my first ability combo, but I play every champion in the game, so for me it's a bit different, but if you actually want to get good at Akshan, if I had done the combo properly, I would have killed him again, you see? So I just missed out a free kill because I didn't do the combo properly. So this, this should really show you how important it is to truly master the champions that you are playing. Because I just missed out on a free kill, which is a lot, of course, if you miss out on a free kill, and I wasted my flash. So it's very sad that it happened, but it makes sense because... I play so many different champions, so I'm, you know, I'm, how do you, what is this saying? A jack of all trades, but a master of none? I think that's what, that's the one, right? I do master a few champions, of course. I master Jin, and I literally, and I master Nasus. I would say these are the champions that I master at like a top, 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 top level. And then the other champions, I would put myself at like an average grandmaster level. You know, uh, on some other champions like the Aurelia, I'm not quite there yet. But on most champions, I'm like at an average Grandmaster level, but the champions that I've, or maybe like, you know, challenger level, but not super challenger. But the champions that I'm truly, truly, truly super duper good at is Jin and Nasus. These are my champions. But it makes sense, right? Like you get super, super good at a champion if you play him every single day, all day, and like know every ins and outs of it. Like I'm really good at Akshan, but you can clearly see sometimes I fill my combos, which is normal, right? Like humans make mistakes, but... I shouldn't make those types of mistakes, like fla ma failing flash combos, that's just a fail. But as I said, if you truly, truly want to get good at these types of champions, also with Akshan, if, you go into, if you're already into practice mode, practicing the f flash combo with the first ability, also... Wow, that's an AP Ezreal, oh my god. I need to, I also need to do the AP Ezreal video, of course. Oh, well, I guess that's a reminder right there. I guess that that's that's the reminder that I needed, I guess. But I, what I was talking about, while you're in practice mode, practicing Akshan, really, really practice the third ability. And what I mean with that, place down some dummies and try to maneuver yourself through the dummies. Because when like the, the way that the third ability works, if you hit an enemy champion, it stops. It stops your third ability, it stops your dash, and it stops the damage. Your third ability deals a massive amount of damage, so of course you don't want it to get stopped in a team fight. So practice maneuvering it. You have to be able to, to use it around enemies. Just dodge out enemies. Like, look, here I'm going on the Ezreal. Boom, you see? Boom, boom, and that's a free kill. And now Diana, I could re-engage, but I'm probably not going to do it because I don't want to die. If she has an ultimate, she's just going to kill me. So you can see right there, I used it, I did not hit the Ezreal, so I killed him. If I had hit the Ezreal, I could have potentially died right there. Because it's going to take away so much damage. And here you can see the vampirism that I'm having, by the way. This is why I'm saying vampirism is so good on Akshan. Because he does so much damage, and you can heal it back up so easily. Because in teamfights, you do AoE damage with your first ability as well. It's just really good to have. You do so much damage, which means you're going to be healing up a lot as well. So having vampirism is perfect on Akshan. I need to go back, by the way. I need to get that Infinity Edge. It's a massive power spike. By the way, by the way, due to recent changes on Akshan, like a few months ago, crit Akshan became more viable. His third ability can crit now, and his ultimate can crit. So you will do more damage because you have crit. Your third ability and your ultimate. So it's not just his basic attacks. Your actual abilities also do more damage because you have crit. So that's why crit Akshan is so, so good right now. If you're looking for one-shotting uh, uh, Akshan. As I said, you can go for Blade of the Rune King too. You can go for that other build that I gave you guys. You can go for the Runan's Hurricane build. Everything is viable. It's I'm tr telling you guys, all of it is viable. Um, but this particular build is the one-shot build. Or the, the damage build. Not necessarily one-shot, because Akshan doesn't really fully one-shot. But this is like the damage. The full damage. You're super squishy. But you do the most damage from any other build. And keep in mind, no attack speed. Because you're not looking for sustained damage. You're just looking for the raw damage. The raw, raw, boom damage. When you use your third ability. When you use that ultimate. Like, basically when you have four items. Your ultimate can chunk down a squishy enemy from 50% HP. 
50 five zero not 15 50 believe it or not that's the case and that's why i'm saying you want to go for full ad Akshan because he has those attributes that when you go for attack speed you won't have and here with the kraken slayer you know i guess i guess it's decent damage boom boom and boom boom it's another kill and boom boom flashing over the wall and he should be dead too easy peasy kills these are the these are the fast hands with the Akshan guys. I flashed over the wall and then when Lee Sin flashed after me, I used my third ability to do a lot of damage and kill him. I used the movement speed to dodge out his engage. Oh my god, guys. Sometimes I even surprise myself when I make these moves. I used the movement speed from my first ability to dodge out Rakan's engage. This is what he, this is what Akshan can do. You can dodge out things because of the movement speed. Use this, guys. Use this. Don't just play Akshan and attack the enemy. You know, this is the same story as when I explain how to play Jin. You know, I see a lot of people when they play Jin, all they really focus on is, you know, Jin's damage, right? Like basic attack, first ability, ultimate, blah, blah, blah. But there is more behind these champions because Jin, for example, gets a lot of movement speed when you crit. What can you do? You can dodge out abilities. Akshan has the same story, but even more extreme. When you hit a basic attack on the enemy, you get a lot of movement speed. When you hit your first ability on the enemy, you also get a lot of movement speed, which means you can dodge out enemy engages. I need to be, I need to be careful of this guy, by the way. Oh, look at this, look at this, look at this. Akshan, look at him. 50% health. 50 per, it was even 55% health, and I just destroyed Rakan right there. You see what I'm saying? And that's the Rakan that I just killed from 50% health. Crazy, isn't it? Boom, boom, Kraken Slayer as well, I guess. I kind of want to engage here. I'm probably going to go, am I not? I didn't go under the third because I it was a bit too dangerous. Easy kill. That's just, that's just, that's just tragic. That's just tragic. He thought he was safe backporting right there. But I just zooped him with my shuriken. He actually thought he was safe behind his turret. What a poor guy, guys. What a poor guy. I feel so bad for him. I... <laughs> that was such a disgusting kill, guys. That was, that was such a disgusting kill. Oh my god. I think, I think here you're gonna see the limit testing. I, I, I'm not sure, but I think here is where you're gonna see the limit testing. Like, going crazy on the enemy. But I'm not sure. There you can see the barrier as well. When you hit three attacks on the enemy, you get the barrier, which allows you to tank up a lot of damage. So it's just, Akshan has so many different things. And I made a full Akshan guide as well, if you want to see it. If you're like a total beginner to Akshan. Look up Hell's Devil Akshan guide if you want to. And then you can see like a full guide, full, full guide of me explaining every single detail about Akshan. Okay, nice damage, I guess. I'm already full HP, by the way. Oh, here, I think... Ah, I missed my hook on the turret. Wow. You saw how scared the Kaisa was? She instantly flashed away. It's kind of funny. We got four items now, by the way, guys. Next item is going to be a Guardian Angel. The reason that I went for a Seerless Grudge this game is because I don't need anti-healing. I want to get as much damage and as much utility as I can because Seerless Grudge allows me to slow the enemy when I use my abilities, which is really, really good because I can catch them out then and kill them more easily. I could have actually dodged that out. Look, I have so much lifesteal. Like, they're, I'm out-damaging their damage, you see, or I'm out-healing their damage, sorry. I'm just doing so much damage, it's crazy. Yeah, here, here I told them like Conqueror is better. This was the first game that I tried Kraken Slayer and Conqueror is just infinitely better. And yeah, Kraken Slayer is just trash. Yeah, pushing the turret of course. If she goes on me, I'm gonna fight. Is this the moment where, I, like, I wonder where it is? Oh, here it is. Yeah, 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 yeah,
Well, I'm still alive because the Braum played so beautifully. But I mean... <laughs> and I got a kill. And I got a kill. I actually nearly killed the Diana. That would have been a beautiful kill. Normally I wouldn't go for that, but I'm just limit testing. I want to find out like what can Akshan and what can Akshan not do. And I'm going to keep doing that in this late game, by the way. <laughs> I want to get a, I want to get my full item. That's why I'm not backporting. I'm gonna need 400 gold for the Guardian Angel. There we go again. Oh god, I put myself in a horrible position right here because I was so the the idea right there was if I could kill the Lee Sin, I could escape. Now we're actually throwing the game because I made such a mistake. <laughs> I made such a stupid mistake, and now all of my teammates are dying. Oh no, what did I do? actually doing fine no they're not doing fine never mind i screwed up <laughs> i screwed up so badly i really shouldn't have died right there oh aps real damage he only has one item he just half-life delusion with one item only has a hextech gunblade what how does he do that much that he only has one item Imagine a 5-item Ezreal. Jesus Christ. Okay, maybe I should really pick back up on the AP Ezreal video. But man, I'm gonna do so much LP when I play AP Ezreal. It's actually sad. But it's so fun though. It's sad, but it's fun. But I think fun is more important than sad. In before people try to um, ca cancel me again for trolling and ranked. Look at this, House Devil is trolling in ranked, tagging all Riot devs. Look at him. It actually happened, by the way. It's a pro player. I'm not going to mention his name, but it's an absolutely disgusting player who tried to do that. And the funny thing is, I was casting the tournament that he was playing in as well. So, I guess, uh, I guess hatred doesn't get you too far in this world, guys. That's why I never do it. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? I want to ult him. Come on, come on. There we go. You're gonna die. He's gonna die. Oh, he used it. His passive saved his ass. His passive shielding saved him. He had like 70% HP with his passive. Would have been absolutely crazy if I even killed him with that. I nearly killed him, but it was just not quite enough. But I mean, guys, look at this. This is Akshan for you. And the change to his third ability as well, which allows you to uh, navigate around walls more easily, makes him so much stronger as well. So let's take a look at how much damage I did and everything like that. Okay, I'm gonna play some APS drill later today. Screw it. We're gonna make it happen. Of course, I got MVP this game. 45,000 damage, by the way, guys. That's a lot of damage. So thank you so much for watching. And uh, yeah, uh, I'll see you all in the next Wild Rift video. Bye-bye.